Hey everyone, welcome to Main Street and Mickey. This is a very special vlog because it is the first kind of one that I've done like this and it is a Disney favorite souvenir tag video. So I am going to be tagging some of my YouTuber friends, um, part of this Disney community here at the end of this video. We'll all be sharing our favorite Disney souvenirs. Disney souvenirs can hold so many memories. And I was thinking, cause I have this one hanging from one of my lamps cause I just didn't know what else to do with it. I don't really wear it anymore, but I had it hanging there and I was like, you know what? That holds such like a story for me that I want to share it with you all. Cause you all will understand. You all hopefully appreciate because when you have that one Disney souvenir that you really remember where you got it, what happened on the trip that you got it. And it's just something really special to you that only other Disney fans would really appreciate. So that's why I decided to create these videos. So here are the questions. Um, I'll go through them and I will also put them down below and feel free if you want to do this video, do it and just, you know, share it and let us know if you did it, tag us in it and uh, so we can see what your favorite Disney souvenir is. My, I could choose for just one surprise. So I chose these two. So I'll start with this one first. This is, get it around here. A necklace that has my name, my full name on it. And as you can see, the special right here is the eye has the Mickey head on it. And I got this, okay, I got the original one back in middle school. And then a couple years later after I got it, I ended up losing it. I was devastated because I don't know why, but this is just so special to me. I think because the way like it has the Mickey head on it. It's all my favorite colors. And I was in middle school and I was like just so devastated because we hadn't been to Disney for years and it was the last like really special thing that I had gotten there. So I was super sad when I lost it. But when we went back in 2013 or 14, I think is when I, 2014. When we went back in 2014, I ended up finding the same one. So I was really, I ended up finding the same one, so I'm super happy about that. Um, so when did I get it? I got it in 2014 on our trip. It was um, a trip during September. It was so. It was a really fun trip. It, we had a blast. We had relatively good weather, and even the bad weather days, we made the best of. So it was a really fun trip, and I definitely am very happy that I had that from that trip. Um, do you remember what merchandise location you got it from? See, with me, I know my merchandise locations very well. Even before I worked there, I know my I know my locations. And cuz that's what I've always loved. I've always loved shopping at Disney. I love shopping in general. Let's just be honest there. Um, but I got this the store adjacent to the t-shirt store at Disney Springs. It's right across from the Christmas shop and a um, diagonal from Goofy's candy shop. So it's right there. It's like in the art. It's not in the art of Disney, but it's that little space in between. And I don't, I heard that they are getting rid of the t-shirt store where you could like make your own t-shirts. So they might be getting rid of that too, but I'm be really sad because they had really good, they had book options. They had those vinyl records you could get. They had jewelry and different just stationary stuff. And I loved that. So that is where I got it at Disney. I got it at Disney Springs. So I was really, really happy that I found that. I was so excited. I remember when I found it, I was like, oh my god, I was so excited. And it's so silly now, but it's just, it's just very special to me. I honestly, it's just so simple, but something so simple can be, can become very, very special. Um, when significance doesn't hold. So I kind of already said that. Um, I, don't know when I got my first one. I just remember it was, I would felt so cool to have my name on a necklace and it had the Mickey head on it. Um, I actually, I think I got it, I think I got it first in fourth grade. So then like year, two years later, I lost it and you know, didn't get it back. didn't find another one until 
years, years later. So probably a decade, like between when I got the first one and this one. So it's really special to me. When you lose something and it comes back to you, it just is, I love it. So, and I think they still sell these actually. So if you want to get your name and it have like a Mickey head incorporated into it, go find this. Um, I, they may have a different version now, but I don't know. I'll have to see when I leave in a couple weeks. And what was special about the trip that you got it on? Now for me, that trip was so special because we hadn't been to Disney for a while since I had been in high school. And when we went then, like, I, it was okay, but it was also the trip that my mom broke her ankle. So this trip that I got this necklace on, the 2014 trip, it was really the first time we got to really, really experience Disney fully <laughs> without somebody injured. So that was the significance of that trip, that it was our first real time back at Disney. So my second souvenir, I will not cry about, but I'm probably gonna get a little emotional. Um, this is, what is it? It's a ring. You can see it there, it has the Mickey, and the little diamond and how it joins together. Now, when did I get it? I got it that same trip, but I got it over at the gift shop over at Saratoga Springs. We had got over there to catch a bus for some reason. I think we were checking, that was when we went to the spa. So for that trip, we treated mom to a spa um, experience at the Saratoga Springs. And it was really fun. Annie and I ended up getting our own nanny petties and it was so relaxing. And we just had a great time exploring parts of the resort. We explored the gift shop, of course, on our way out and then headed over to Disney Springs or downtown Disney at the time. And we, we went through the gift shop and I found this ring. Um, the significance that it holds for me was I got this right after I learned about the Disney College program. I had no idea that people could, like, during school, like when they were in college, go and work for Disney and get credit for it or just to get a great experience. So I was like, oh my gosh, I could do that. Like, I don't really want to move away from home, but this would be a good, like, in-between compromise because I wouldn't just be home away from home forever if I didn't want to be, but I would still get to work there at Disney World. So I had been thinking about it, trying to learn more about it, and then I got this ring, and it ended up serving a purpose as, as my promise ring that I would come back when I was able and do the Disney College program. So this was my, I wore it, I wore it all the time. I replaced my glass ring with it and I wore it constantly as a reminder that, hey, this is a goal that you wanna do. This is a dream that you have and I promise that one day I will come back and work for Disney. So I honestly, when I got it and I made that promise to myself, I was like, you know what? I hope it happens, but I don't know if it really will, but it did. And oh my gosh, I have so many memories from it. And I, rem and I remember on those really, really hard days at work, I would just look at my ring and be like, this is what you wanted and this is your dream and you're living your dream and just, and it always helped me, so. And this was also the same trip as I got the neck when I got the necklace. So not only was it the first trip that we really got to experience Disney without a wheelchair, but it was also the first. So not only was it the first like true experience we had had at Disney for many years, but it was also the trip that I decided that I would one day come back and do the Disney College program. So it's so simple. And actually at the end of my college program, this doesn't count as my, as, as this isn't a third souvenir, but just to tell you that I replaced this one that was just like probably, I think like $20. And at the end of my college program, my very last day, I ended up getting the Pandora crown tiara ring. So it was like I had, I, just, I switched them out and so it was like a okay I did it and this is like my reminder that I did it and I can follow my dreams and they I will always have those experiences and memories to keep with me forever and so yeah these are two of my favorite Disney souvenirs that I got on my trip again I will put the questions down below if you would like to do this video just make sure to let us know and um, tag us in it and I am tagging Meg from Mickey's Magic, Dan from Disney Dan, and as well as 
as the lovely ladies from Cousins Who Disney. So make sure you check out those channels. I will put the links to their channels below and I can't wait to see what, what they choose as their favorite Disney souvenirs. So again, if you're interested, please do this. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we would love for you to do that, become part of our little Disney family. Make sure you also hit that bell notification because it will allow you to know when we post our videos. And you know, we just have some exciting things coming for 2019. I will be headed to Disney in a few weeks, so I will be taking, but above all else right now, we just hope that you all have a magical day. Bye!